YouTube. This video is about what I think and what I believe some possible things that are going to happen in the coming year 2012. I'm not saying they're going to happen. I'm not. Uh, it's just what I think may happen is a and it's a quite a high possibility. Um, right, first one. I think in the coming year of 2012, the Occupy movement's going to become a lot more relevant. I think the Occupy movement, they're going to see people coming forward from there, sort of, with more ideas of coming forward with ideas, some kind of an agenda. Also, I think there's going to be a big change in people's conscience, generally. I think a lot more people are going to start realising um, what the government are doing and the way they, they're manipulating us and the way the mainstream media manipulates us and um, they're going to start shifting to alternative TV channels and they're going to start realising and possibly even start preparing um, in the coming year I can see big sorry I've just dropped that I can see a big economic collapse coming our way possibly Definitely the euro is going to collapse. I reckon this year if that's pretty much inevitable the euro is going to collapse And if the euro collapses don't think just because you live in America or Canada or the UK or in Australia It's not gonna affect you because no matter where you live They have but your government have got their interest They've got businesses and they've got debt in the countries that have collapsed so it's going to hit hit you hard and the euro collapse will inevitably cause a bigger world collapse right here's another one I thought I think oil is going to be sold in another cu currency possibly Venezuela possibly Venezuela no sorry I've just read what I've wrote I'm supposed to be sorry oh I've got notes on this one and um Sorry, right. Oil is possibly going to be sold in another currency, possibly um, yen or in um, the Russian currency. Can't spring to mind what the Russian currency is. I just did some research. And I should have written it down here. Um, Venezuela, which, oil, which is one of the biggest oil providers to America, the UK, and the rest of Europe, are um, possibly. I reckon they're going to switch to yen because um, the Venezuelan government and the American government have had quite big fallouts and um, I can see Venezuela completely stop trading with America in the near future um, also on oil let me just find it oh, I think that this year there's going to be a major breakthrough in an affordable alternative option to oil um, possibly a breakthrough coming from Shell might push that breakthrough a affordable alternative to oil because they can create oil in a lab now I believe but it costs something like if they were to do it in main production it would cost something like £60 a litre so it's not really viable but I can see an affo affordable alternative to oil being breakthrough possibly from Shell possibly from BP um, I don't think that Texco could have a could lead that kind of breakthrough because they because it's a Texan based company and they've got a lot of oil in Texas and that would jeopardize their income um, I can see where are they possibly food shortages in Asia and uh, Asia and that would call right cause rights and possibly some governments being overthrown because of um water shortage in Asia last year oh no two thousand eleven. So this year now as I'm filming it, but by the time you watch it tomorrow morning it will be two thousand twelve if you watch it tomorrow. Um anyway, sorry, yeah. Food shortages that have happened this year in Asia, possibly next year. There have been a lot of droughts in Asia, meaning there's less water to, um, sorry I'm losing my train of thought, 
that mean there's less water to um, grow food with and that's possibly going to push up the cost of rice and other sort of staples that are main staples in America and Europe that are grown in China and Russia and that could also if there's a major food shortage or drought in China that could push up the prices of commodities such as drinking glasses well not really commodities are they hair dryers <laughs> TVs lamps cups plastic cups even plastic bottles um, clothing like this it a break a food shortage in Asia especially in China and Taiwan would completely destroy the majority of the world's economy and that combined with um, a euro collapse could be absolutely devastating it could just kill the economy completely and, ten and send us into a complete spin. Um, I don't think there's going to be a war next year. Um, there's a lot of talk about people. Other, I did a video the other day about the about David Cameron wants to send troops into Somalia. Somalia? Yeah, Somalia, and possibly. A war with Iran. That don't think that's going to happen this year, but possibly 2013, 2014, I can see something happening. I can't see us going into a major war this year. Silver, another one I've written down here is silver will hit fifty dollars an ounce. I think now it's on about forty-two, forty-three dollars an ounce. Correct me if I'm wrong. That was the last time I looked, about a month or two ago. Yeah, I reckon it will hit $50 an ounce by the end of 2012. I reckon one or two countries will pull out the Euro, out of the Eurozone and possibly create their own currency. I think those countries will be possibly Ireland and Greece. Possibly Spain as well. But I reckon Ireland may pull out of the Eurozone. Um, maybe a big medical breakthrough in perhaps cancer or HIV um, Alzheimer's one of the main t um, heart disease one of the main killers a big breakthrough I'm not saying that it's going to be re that whatever the breakthrough is, is going to be readily available um, next year and they're going to be hanging out in a medicine but I can see some kind of a breakthrough um, I can see the US government in some states restricting gun rights. There's been a lot of talk about it this year and a lot of fear um, over it this year. I can definitely see them bringing up, the US government bringing up gun tax for ammunition and firearms, but I can see them restricting gun rights and possibly having laws like in the UK where in some states you can't own a semi-automatic or an automatic uh, weapon um, and I can also see that in countries such as countries where weapons aren't really and guns aren't really allowed especially the UK mainly the UK possibly other countries like New Zealand and China I don't think they're allowed weapons in China and yeah, New Zealand, China, and possibly New New Zealand, China, and Britain. Most probably Britain. There's going to be a big thing about people trying to get more rights, gain back the rights we've lost, such as gun rights and things like that. And here's my final prediction. I don't think the world's going to end in 2012. However likely it may seem with all the current events weather and economic events in 2012 I think something big is going to happen but the world ending I don't think so if it does it does there's nothing we can really do about it and there's no point in people going out and buying tons of food and wasting all their money um, on food to survive the end of the world because 
it's the end of the world. You can't survive the end of the world. Otherwise, it wouldn't be the end of the world, would it? The best thing to do if you think the world's going to end in 2012 is just wait it out and just have a nice year. I don't personally believe it's going to end. Do I disbelieve it though? Not really. I don't really know enough. If it ends, it ends really. There's nothing we can do about it. If it doesn't end, great. Another year. Right, that's about it. Um, thanks to everyone who's subscribed to me this year and who's watched my videos and supported me and um, thanks to everyone who's left comments especially and people who've done video responses and who've, who've helped me um, with any questions I've had thank you to you and hope you have a nice night alright bye guys